well, I'm sorry I didn't record actually when I was taking it taking it off. I wanted to record, but I'm changing this board right here, which is I guess the video board, and it's been giving me trouble. Basically, none of the HDMI ports work. You connect the computer and whichever one with and different things there, and you get no video out of the TV. It started off flickering at first and then totally just stopped. So I ordered a new board because they did this design right here. So I couldn't see what's the chip we need to replace. Um, so I just ordered a whole new board. I'm going to put the new board in here to replace it, which I got it here. I took off the sensors because I could use the old ones. Now there is only one difference on the board, which I could see. And it's right here. That E number right there. E17106-2 whatever it seems to change mine was the E which one was it um, mine is the E1775 SV so I don't know if it's going to work or not I told the guy that if it doesn't I'm going to return it he said it's fine so this is my old board that's not working which I will try to repair and I will try to put a video here repairing the chip or giving you the chip number in case you have the same trouble, you don't have to go crazy, you know, and you could just know what chip to order right away and be able to fix it, which I could, and I had to actually order a new one now to order the chip. So I'm going to skip. I'm going to put it on pause. Um, as you know, you know, you put the board here, square board. It's one, two, three, four, five screws. These things get loose here. Five screws. I'm going to try my best to put it up to record putting it like back together but I don't have nobody to hold the camera for me um, which is why I didn't record it putting it taking it off but I will try to see what I could do so here we go all right so I got my wife to help me out real quick here guys so I'm putting it back together Okay, as you know, this, the sensors, is easy, which is the, the gray one goes the last. It's at the last down here, and the other one next to the gray one is the middle. Then the one that comes from all the way on your right side goes at the top. And right here, you could use non-conductive um, silicone to put it back on. This is so from shaking. It doesn't, it doesn't come out, so that's all it is. Love you, buddy. Papa's fixing the TV here. Hopefully it's working. All right, so I'm going to attempt this at home. I don't have the best of tools, but we're going to see. I'm at work. I have all the best tools. I'm going to try to see if I can take off the heat sink. Um, there's, there's four joints right here, I believe. One, two, three, four for the heat sink. Yep. I'm going to try to remove those to see if at least I could take a look at the chip. But, I don't know, this ain't the best of tools. At work, I got all the right tools. Yeah, no. It did take some of it off, but yeah, it ain't gonna do it no justice on here. This one too. This is just with the cheap tools. At work we have all the good tools. So this this one this one is out. Let's see. Let's see if we could get this one out. Huh. So we have one more. 
Oh, there you go. And like you, as you can see, this is the processor right there. Um, apparently, these chips are not like the easy chips to fix. Hmm. Huh. This is on. So everything is going to this processor. So how is it possible? <coughs> so you have to change the whole processor. Hmm. A whole. So now this is odd. This is not like your typical old TVs. This is state of the art because we have everything going to this processor so it's not a chip like the other ones huh. USB we have this it goes into the processor everything goes there we gotta figure out how this processor comes apart because there's no way it could be soldered in there <clears throat> hmm. This one is very Ah, uh, this is the one, yeah Yep, this one, for this one they use special tools So I don't think this one I'll be able to fix, yep <laughs> There's no way this one is not like the other one. It has a special chip and all that. All right, well, well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, this is just like a computer um, graphics thing. I, I don't have the tools for that to actually get this thing out. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but at least you see what's under there. And um, this is for um, this is for Element. Model EL 4K AM Z 501 70 as in Tom. I'm gonna to put it on the descriptions, but this is how it looks. Unfortunately, I don't think I could do anything for it. It's not like the older TVs, which was like a small chip and it was soldered at the top, and you'll be able to get it out. Seems that all the HDMI connections go into this one processor. So, I don't know. I got to figure out how to take it out. But thank you for watching. Hope this helped you a little bit. I don't know how much, but have a good one.